hello everyone welcome to another video and today's video is going to be really interesting it is about a trick in ssh that i used to play on one of my colleagues when we were learning linux a few years ago and i just uh, thought of making a video on this i think uh, you all will also like it all right so let's start so as you can see i have prepared this ppt so that you can also uh, follow all the steps that i'll be doing in this video so the first thing is i am using mobile xterm ssh client application to log into an ec2 instance based out of red hat enterprise linux version 9 okay if you need any help with downloading and in installing this particular tool mobile xterm so uh, there is a video which i created a few days ago uh, which is going to guide you step by step how to download install and configure this application to ssh to any ec2 linux instance okay so I, i'll be, i'll be giving that url in the description of the video all right so let's start uh so the first thing is you have to become root okay so here you can see i'm logged in as ec2 hyphen user so i have to become root so let me clear the screen control l sudo space su space hyphen enter and i'm logged in as root now and i'm going to create a new user called alex so i'll run this command that we have already studied in the past lectures user add alex it's going to create a new user named alex and then i'm going to set the password for this user as well so pass wd alex all right and let's set the password all done then uh, if you remember from my last video i am using this z command to enable password authentication by uh, changing the password authentication which is set to no right now to yes in the uh, ssh configuration file okay so the ssh configuration file is slash etc slash ssh slash sshd underscore config okay so i'm going to copy this command i'm going to execute it here so this is like a shortcut if you, if you want to make the changes manually you can do that you can just open this file and just set the password authentication to yes okay and then save and quit it's up to you done then there is there's one more file since we are using red hat enterprise linux uh, os on ec2 instance so we have to modify uh, one more file which is slash etc slash ssh slash sshd underscore config dot d slash 50 hyphen cloud hyphen init dot conf okay if we don't make the change in this file then uh, this is not going to work so we have to make the changes in both the files okay and then to apply the changes you have to restart the daemon the ssh daemon or shd service okay for that you can do systemctl restart sshd so these three commands have enabled a password authentication on this server which means that any user can log into this vm using username and password also okay and, and, and not just key ssh keys okay now uh, it says that we have to open another terminal and we have to log in with this new alex user okay so i'm going to click on this plus sign here to open another terminal and this time i'll do ssh alex at the rate then i have to copy the public ip of this instance okay so for that i have to go to my aws management console and i have to go to ec2 service 
Elastic Compute Cloud. If you are not sure how to create a new EC2 instance, you can watch my very first video in Linux for DevOps Crash Course series. The link will be in the description of this video. All right. So I'll click on instances. I have just one instance here running. Then I'm going to click on instance ID. And now I can see the public IPv4 address for this EC2 instance. So I'm going to copy this. And I, I'll go back to my mobile XTERM terminal and I'm going to copy it here. So I'm trying to log in as Alex user on this VM. Okay, the, the IP of the public IP of the VM is this. Once I log in, it's going to ask for the pink fingerprint. I'll I'll uh, just type yes and then I'm going to enter the password for the user. So now uh, I'm, I'm logged in as Alex user as you can see and I did not have to specify any keys because I enabled a password authentication on this VM. Okay, let's clear the screen and let's go back to our PPT to see what, what's next. So this is all done. Next is I have to split the terminal on mobile X term. Okay. And here I've given two screenshots how you can do that and I'm going to show you that now. So uh, when you are logged into two terminals, one with root, other with Alex user, you have to click on split here. When you click on split, you have these four options and you have to choose, I mean, uh, you can choose any of the options, but I'm going to choose a vertical split like this, okay? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, click right click on this home here and then I have the option to rename the terminal. So here, here you can see on, on the right hand side I'm logged in as root user. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to choose the other terminal which is for Alex because I'm, I'm already uh, logged in as root user here on, on this terminal. So I'm, I'm going to choose Alex here like this. Okay, or, or what you can do is if you click again here, you, you, I mean, you can choose a root to be logged in here and Alex to be logged in here. Okay, it's up to you. So, I mean, you have the option. Just click here and uh, just switch as per your convenience. Okay, since I'm, I'm clicking in here, I'm getting the option to uh, switch the terminals from here. Okay, so I want the root user to be on the left hand side and Alex to be on the right hand side. Okay, to make it more convenient for me and for the audience as well. All right, I'm going to clear the screen. I'm on root. So now you can see I have two terminals and uh, uh, I'm able to see uh, both the terminals at the same time using the split uh, feature in mobile XTERM. Okay, so that is why I'm, I'm using this this uh, mobile XTERM client app because it is just so convenient to split the terminals uh, on this tool. Okay. Next, what I'm going to do. So next is on terminal with root user. So on terminal with root user, you have to, you have to type a command. This is a command called W, which means who all are logged into the machine right now. And you can see we have two users. One is EC2-user and one is Alex. It's, it's showing EC2-user because when I uh, logged into the server initially I was logged in as EC2 heaven user and from there I switched to root okay so it's going to show you the original user which is EC2 hyphen user and then I have another terminal uh, which is for Alex okay so right now I have two users logged into this uh, virtual machine one is EC2 hyphen user or root and other other is Alex user okay one more thing you will see here is TTY Okay, so I explained in my last video also TTY means the terminal. Okay, and this is the value of the terminal or you can say which uh, terminal are, are these users on. So EC2 hyphen user is on PTS slash zero and Alex is on PTS slash one. Okay, now, now we will see the real trick in SSH that we can do. So suppose you and your friend or colleague are logged into the same VM at the same time like this and uh, and you are a root user and and your friend or colleague is alex okay so now i mean what you can do is you can actually redirect any text from your terminal to alex's terminal okay so 
I mean, if uh, Alex is working on something, and you just, I mean, passed the text uh, onto his his, his uh, screen, then he's going to show that. I mean, uh, he's going to see that message almost immediately. Okay, how? Let's see it in action. So I'm going to use a command called echo. Okay, it's given in the example also. <coughs> here uh, it's, it's given so I mean what I'm trying to do is from my uh, uh, this root terminal I'm trying to echo this text your screen has been hijacked to the terminal of Alex okay so I'll type this so echo command is used to print any text I mean to print any any anything uh, you can use echo command in Linux so I'm going to to uh, print this text your screen sorry your screen has been hijacked and then I'm going to redirect this text to the terminal of Alex how I can do that I can use this redirection operator greater than and then I can type the address of Alex's terminal which is pts slash one okay so if you want to redirect any anything to this terminal you can uh, just do slash dev slash pts slash one so this uh, terminal is inside slash dev directory okay so when you have to write it like this okay and once I do it just see on uh, this uh, Alex's screen okay what will happen after this so this is the trick if you see I mean I was able to enter Alex's screen and I was able to uh, you know type some random text on his terminal okay so I I, I use this trick on, on on my friend and he was uh, not able to figure it out for a week and he I mean, kept thinking that I mean what is happening and uh, I mean who has hijacked my screen since we were I mean both new to Linux so I mean we weren't sure at that time what's happening I mean I, I, I mean I was able to figure it out that we can do something like this but uh, I mean he 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 was uh, really puzzled for a week uh, that I mean I mean what's happening with this with this terminal every now and then <laughs> okay so this was the trick so now now on the Alexa screen if I just type control C I can I mean, get my prompt back and now again uh, you can type something else like this echo you are stuck and then again I'm going to redirect this to slash dev slash pts slash one and once again he, I mean he will see this this random text coming and he will not get his prompt until he, he uh, presses control C to interrupt all right so this was the trick uh, I just wanted to share it with you guys I hope you like this video and if you did uh, please hit that like button and share this video with your friends and, co and, and colleagues and uh, subscribe to my channel all right guys that's all for today and I'm going to see you in the next one bye